Hello, and as the train approaches, welcome to tour and explore. We're going to continue down the stop just around about here, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm with Michael. We've had a bit of a haircut. We did the Epsilon program. Well, we've done the most hardest bit of the Epsilon program. Ten days of wearing that awful god blue uniform. Ugh. Glad it's over. Luckily, I'm in a yellow top. Anyway, no further, much more. Let's go onwards. Well, I actually scratched that. There is more to go, but yeah. Alright, so we start a new project in Minecraft. Uh, well, we planned a new project in Minecraft. We started to put a roof on it. If you check out the Minecraft videos to know what I'm talking about, remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Um, right, we're going over some power lines here. Straight off the back. And we're coming up to the services. Um, now, I'm guessing my... I don't, well, I, have, I, I don't have many views, but... Whoever watches this, uh, if you're from the UK, you'll call that a petrol station. And uh, if you're in America, you'll call it a gas station. But if you're watching this in the year 2030 in the United Kingdom or any other countries who follow the United Kingdom's green ways, that is called a relic. I heard on the news recently, after 2030, did I say 1930? I meant 2030. If I said 1930, then I apologise. But in 2030, that will be a relic. Because all modern cars will be electric and maybe some hybrid. There will be no more petrol cars and you know what this day would come greenhouse greenhouse uh, greenhouse gases and fossil fuels and whatever that is um, will eventually uh, go away but um, yeah say goodbye to the room <laughs> And hello to the... Hmm. What's going to make NASCAR and Formula 1 race are very quiet. So, yeah. The future, my 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 people, are, is very quiet indeed. Huh. You know, a bridge is coming up, but they already got this like metal thing here. Oh, that's a bit weird. I... I, I don't know why, you can still grass there. Is it a crash barrier for trains? So the trains go off the track so it can hit the crash barrier. And don't roll and don't roll down the uh, down the hill. But if that's the case, why do they have it on that side? Is it just to make it look pretty to be even out? So yeah, I suppose petrol stations will turn into electric stations, or and then instead of gas stations, it'll be electric stations. So yeah, universal. Yeah. And also, like, would they start charging people for electric? You know, or because quite frankly, there won't be so many of this because. You can just charge a car at home. Well, after an hour wait. I don't, personally, I, I, I don't think electric cars, well, they are the future, but they're not perfect. It takes like half an hour to an hour, two hours, half a day to charge. Um, well, it takes like, what, seven minutes to fuel up a car? So, 
I, 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 I think some kind of pentagraph for roads would be good. More public transport is needed. Hmm. Maybe it's about time if you're, I think that if you're selling bicycles, I think you, you better go get some stock going because you are going to be wealthy. Must running shoes. We've got a billboard on the left here. Uh, so then it looks like, what was that? Cheerios, donuts. Donut Cheerios. Cheerios would look like donuts. Donuts would look like Cheerios. Or hoops. I don't know. It's raining. Eight o'clock in the morning. It's technically still autumn. Uh, yeah. All right. something here a helmet homeless shelter well we got uh, a chair soggy cardboard uh, bedroll a boat broken bike mm. right. who would live next to a train line isn't that a bit dangerous well he has tucked it away a bit still Roads behind you. How would you sleep at night? Look at that. You've got a road behind you. And then you got the train in front of you. Like. What went through your head to think, yes, this is a peaceful place to sleep. Hmm. Track on the left is, get, is raised up. We're following the track on the right. I like the fact that the uh, water rises in the tracks. That's quite good detail there. Well, since we haven't got much to it, law apart from trees grass and power cables you know um, the trains going to you know pass down again you know the uh, whole electric cars thing you know when I start a car by turning the key or pressing the ignition switch, I want to have a noise. It's also a safety because when you're crossing the road, you, you're always told when you're very young, you look and you listen. You know, can you see a car coming? You know, can you hear a car coming? The thing is, those cars are quiet. You know, and what happens like you've got a straight bit and then to the right, and then you got a bend, and then you're like, oh, I'll listen out for a car to see if I can hear one coming, so I have time to cross the road safely. But, you know, electric cars, for, you know, they, there's some electric cars out there will go 200 miles an hour in this, you know. Also, like, the, the distance that you can travel on an electric car is uh is um ridiculous because you can't get very far. I'm glad that hybrids are allowed, but still, like 
But why would it be like it's early in the morning? Oh yeah. You you know you're running late for work and you know seven minutes to fuel up the car. You quickly fuel it up and off you go. But with an electric car, you you're like oh sorry boss, I can't come into work. I have a, my car my car needs charging up. You know. And what happens if you get the lead, the charger? We always have that with our phone to go out the house and lo and behold you didn't have a full charger and the you know and the cables for from a Samsung phone or an Apple phone or um uh or any other phone, you know, other phones are other brands are available. You know, the the charge itself is you can't find the right charger and you don't you might not have the right charge when you leave the house like whatever you forget you'd be I don't know I just I know it's the future and I, I just I just don't think they thought of all things through I think hybrids are the future but I don't think batteries are the future I think we should follow trams or the idea of trams or trolley buses google trolley buses that is homework for my viewers tonight yes you may have left school but you still get homework all right um that's enough for electric cars we came across a water tower with blue and yellow stripes all around it there's no ladder so how the hell do the workers climb up to fix this is that do they have to get a cherry picker out and you know do they have a step ladder do they this doesn't make any sense Ooh, we have deers ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we have deers Not bothered by the train whatsoever. We see windmills now. We're near the wind farm. I like I like this scene here. You got windmills, green energy on the left, and all things good. And then you got this factory with smokestacks. What is all see? coal or gas powered or mainly coal so you've got the modern and the environmentally friendly against the pollution and the nastiness oh. so you know I can see people getting horse and carts again like you don't you know your horse can't break down might be sick but you know it's like when your car gets sick you get back to, I could see in the future when we go if we go back to horses and we would be like oh I need a replacement I need a replacement horse because whenever your car breaks down you get a replacement car um, when your horse is sick they'll they say hey I need a replacement horse Uh, I just look you can see the black smoke there you can see the clean nice environmentally friendly wind farm and then you got <laughs> black smoke well I I, 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 I think 2030 is still a long way away, so it would be enough time, hopefully, to kick out all the all the issues and bugs and glitches in cars. So you never know. We're coming up to uh, some kind of structure. So, what's your idea of only having electric cars? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Leave in the comments down below. Uh, so yeah. Got something on the left, we've got like another water storage. 
And of course we've got this uh, factory. Um, yeah. <sighs> oh god, I'm tired. Mm. I need to get a drink. Throat's a bit clangy. Oh, there's a ladder. Let me check the train. Yeah. When you see a ladder, always climb up it. Is there anything up here? Mm, no. No. You know, ever since uh, Amanda left with Michael, I've been giving him a spiritual journey. Like, join a cult, done some yoga, we've done walking. Oh, this is, this, this, this is too good of an opportunity for some chaos. We are, I want to... We're going to wait and see what happens with the train come. This is going <laughs> to... I like how it's just rocking left to right. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's balanced on the... <laughs> What's going to happen, folks? Ready? Smack! That that, uh, uh, that was that was funny. Now, don't put stuff on the train lines in real life. You will damage the train and maybe derail it. So yeah, looks like we got some kind of siding for the factory down here. So we're gonna hop down here. Whoop. And have a look at this since we are exploring you know the buffers like right back at the lines like if the train doesn't judge it it could it could derail the buffers will stop the train but still I don't, I don't really think about this type of thing you know Uh, smoky polluted battery. Now that would be the f first thing to uh, happen. Ha uh, happen. That would be a thing to sort out. Pollution from chimney stacks. How can we make stuff without losing? smoke from chimneys you know there's more factories are very vital but like that every second of the day more pollution going into our atmosphere Got these uh, oil wagons, black gold. Oh. Oh, I wonder what these stars are here for. Now, two star quality. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. What do the stars mean on the side of the uh, of the train? Uh, let me down now in the comments below. So mm. we've walked and walked for miles, and we come across a factory. 
Ron. Ron Oil. There's a character in GTA called Ron. Well, I tell you what, this is something that we could explore. I think we'll have to do an, uh, another video. You know, we'll, we'll explore this facility. Um, what we'll do, we'll explore it next week. Uh, but to end the video, we'll we'll have a look at the uh, at this little uh, signal box by the thing. Little good good platform. So we've got some boxes ready for trains to take away. Portaloo. More boxes. Right, let's see what's uh what's up here. Way we can get in. Ooh, it's a bulletproof jacket. There we go. Radio. Look at that, you can see the uh the, the um switches here. We could change the tracks. Carers. Danger. Do not operate this machine unless unless all all full the uh, oh wait that's two all all for all the don't operate this machine. I apologise. Bit of dyslexia. Well, very dyslexic, but yeah, this machine is uh, obviously very dangerous. Oh, the boat for a jacket respawned. Oh, the train's coming. You can pass through. The line's clear. And now off it goes to Los Santos. Well, that's it for Tour and Explore for today. We've had a little bit of a walk. We haven't toured or explored much, but uh, we've seen some things. And uh, we saw that petrol station and we talked about electric cars and the future. Um, yeah, I think... As I said in the last video, it's the countryside, there's not much to see or do, so obviously just discussions and stuff might be a feasible possibility. Um, you, you don't have a watch on, mate. So, uh, we'll look at this factory and you know see what we can uh, see. So we'll mark it on our map. There we go. And... Uh, that's it for Michael. Michael. Oh, there we go. And uh, as the windmills pumping clean air behind us and the factory polluting the atmosphere in front. Windmills don't pump clean air. They make clean electricity. Clean electricity behind us. Pollution in front. Goodbye.